Great to have you back in Practice Update, Dr. Stu. Pleasure to be here. So we know you were originally involved in the Phase 3 EF14 trial, looking at the survival of patients with glioblastoma, who on the effect of tumor treating fields plus maintenance temozolomide versus maintenance temozolomide. Can you tell us first about some important findings and how your study was conducted? So this was a randomized phase three trial that would look at adding tumor treating fields to the standard treatment with newly diagnosed patients with glioblastoma. Patients had completed temozolomide and radiation chemoradiotherapy at the time they were enrolled and randomized to either maintenance temozolomide by itself or maintenance temozolomide plus tumor treating field tumor treating field being continued all the way up to two years or a second progression. This trial showed an improved progression-free survival and an improved overall survival with a hazard ratio of 0.63. So it's hazard ratio exactly the same added benefit than 10 years earlier when we presented the results with temozolomide. Tumor treating fields is now part of NCCN guidelines and part of standard of care. Can you share with us a little bit about the study being presented at SNOW that was an analysis of the original trial? So the study presented at SNOW, um, I have not been involved, although I've been the PI of the, in the initial trial. I learned about this subgroup analysis only here, which is somewhat uh, disturbing. Mm -hmm. What the colleagues have done um, is looked at the pattern of failure. And the conclusion, as much as I can tell from the data I have seen, is that the pattern of failure is altered with the addition of tumor treating field. That's what you would, to some extent, expect with this modality. You would expect that if it does something, that the patients would fail outside the majority of effect of the tumor treating fields or somewhat have a different growth pattern and failure pattern when, pay, uh, when tumor cells escape this modality of treatment. And that seemed to be shown to some extent. How valid it is, um, uh, how good the data is, I cannot uh, say. And here I would refer you to the investigators who have done this analysis. So can we not then use any of those results possibly to inform any approaches in this, in this treatment arena? I think we, we should. Okay. I just don't have access to that sure. data yet to the point that I can make any conclusions, but I think it should be analyzed. It's a very important part of the subgroup analysis and retrospective planned analysis to see how it matters, what the tumor treating fields have done, and do we see more and more progression outside the majority of the field. This is something we see in the clinic sometimes now, um, that we see more and more patients who have long-term survivors. They do not recur locally. They actually recur fairly at distant and in the brainstem, so outside where tumor treating fields would have its majority of activity. Mm -hmm.